are you feeling? You got John Riggs here live in Greenville, South Carolina. Got my friends here, Jake Randall, Zab Crystal, Mr. Rightway. We've heard from uh, Retro Rick that this place is the place to go. It's the, the ultimate toy store. Maybe not so much toy collectors. You are. I am. <laughs> but we're going to take you inside. We're going to show you everything, all the walls, all the cases, as much as we can anyway. But we have a little something we're looking for. You know, I grew up with Transformers, He-Man, Mask. This is going to sound funny. I love GoBots. I could afford them. Transformers with birthday and Christmas. <laughs> But go, I could afford GoBots with my allowance money. They might have boxes of cereal, maybe a Pokemon cereal. Hopefully there's a Pokemon cereal, but big pipe dream. But I'm looking for GoBot stuff. We've got Jake Randall. What are you looking for, man? Um, so when I was a kid, one of my favorite uh, TV shows was the Mega Man cartoon. Oh, I actually so good. watched the cartoon before I played any of the games. But Ooh. Bandai made these awesome action figures of Mega Man and like all the villains and stuff. And what was so cool about them is the his cannon was interchangeable with every other character's oh. part, so he could fire whatever they were. And so I'm, I would be low key looking for that. It's like my okay. favorite toys. So even like a cut, like a cut man, a mega, like a guts man, or something like that. Yeah, fire anything man. from that series. Okay, cool. Sure. Uh, what, what, don't, what don't you have yet? <laughs> so I mean, right? That's so hard. But I always usually go looking out for edge glasses. I like Smurfs. I like Flintstones, Scooby Doo. All these like all the good TV shows, really. Yeah. And, Is that all they show in Puerto Rico? Or well, really, it's just my mom's fault. She just oh. got me watching <laughs> that boomerang. So that generation. And, oh, oh, boomerang is great though. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got so, it. So hopefully, I'll find something. You're looking for everything. I know you are. I know. You're, you're, you're... I've been looking for a really good, like, maybe Spider-Man or another turtle or something like that. So I hope I can find it. We'll see. You know, I, I know Spider-Man toys are really, really, like, expensive since the movie. Yeah. Oh, and it just, like... Yeah. There might like, be just, something here, but... Maybe something, but yeah. I know... They made so many. They made so many yeah, Spider-Man. that's true. But the, the key is finding a good Spider-Man for yeah. a good price. I don't like the big dollar store ones, like the big... Oh, seven, sure. Yeah, I, I don't like those. Yeah. Like, the I want ones that are intricate and... Yeah, I want some back of, like, you know, pose yeah. and then take From the movie. Okay. Yeah, right. I want some Kind of, like, like, similar to your wrestling figures? Yeah, similar yeah. to the wrestling yeah. figures. All right. Oh, I'm sure we're going to find wrestling figures in here for sure. Oh, I've done wrestling figures in there already. All right. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have a look. We're gonna go check it out. We'll, we'll we'll see, but let's let's see what we got in this room. So right before you walk into Toy Federation, let's get a little outdoor mural right here. There you go, Toy Federation. Cool. Let's hop inside, and you're greeted in this little lobby area. Some old school arcades. Oh, that's just like that's the nostalgia right when you walk in. Yeah, that's right. Uh, little bins of toys as well. I used to have one of those in my local Jolly Joker in the Yakima Mall, which was kind of fun. So happy to see uh, the old Sprint machine here, too. So much to see, and no doubt I'm going to pass up on some things, so if I miss anything, make sure you call me out in the comments. Got a Randy Orton wrestling buddy. <laughs> you guys saw a Teletubby wrestling buddy in there, too. So you walk around the corner here, a little glass case full of little trinkets and toys. Maybe you recognize some of these. There's a... That's me. That's how I feel right now. Got some Ghostbusters stuff right up front. I'm cool with this. I never collected Ghostbusters, but I always uh, loved the toys. They seem, just seemed intricate as far as the um, the figures were concerned there. Got a ghost trap as well. There's stuff behind the counter, stuff in the glass case. So much. I mean, I'm not even familiar with some of this stuff. Like, I love the uh, lunch boxes, the lunch pails down there, too. Old school stuff. They had a, uh, they had a one based on the black hole. Got Drake Randall, who spotted something else out, too. Michelangelo from, like, that movie. Remember oh, the movie? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, you can tell from his face. <laughs> Cool. Ninja Turtles and, and Mega Man were like my favorite toys. Guys, look who when I was a kid. The old laser tag, sure. Got a boxed Cabbage Patch Kid back in the day. Now here's my childhood right here. Look at these. Got Transformers, I see Omega Supreme back there. The bigger ones, the smaller ones from all generations in this case here. Look at this. And then way down here, Mask. That was one of my favorites as well. I loved Mask. Loved it absolutely. And you got you got boxed Mask figures too. Like with the vehicles and all that. It was cool. If you're not familiar with Mask, you definitely got to look it up. It was a great cartoon. And the cars would transform into like another vehicle for the most part. I thought it was cool. Like the jet turned into a helicopter. The car could fly. The, you know, the motorcycle would get a helicopter propeller on it. You know, stuff like that, you know. So much stuff. Of course, we got Star Wars. Can't go wrong with Star Wars. It is. This is your, your childhood all at once. You even got the Ewok Village. I don't think I've ever seen an Ewok Village in real life. So that was a cool experience for me. And I keep forgetting to look on top, too. You're always looking down at the cases, but look up. You'll find the bigger stuff, too. Boulder Hill. This was the mask base uh, for the good guys here. 
Okay, we got G.I. Joe, too. We'll see more G.I. Joe later on in this video, but gotta love the old... Uh, this is the LJN wrestling figures. That's how LJN made some toys here. And I recognize, I think, all of these guys, really. There might be one or two that I'm not exactly familiar with. So cool. And then down here, that's when you get the, the, the smaller uh, wrestling figures when they came out with those ones. More Star Wars. These are the kind of the newer ones a little bit. But there's always there's no there's no lack of Star Wars, that's for sure. If you're if you're a Star Wars toy collector, man, more power to you. That is a <laughs> there's a lot to collect when it comes to Star Wars figures. Look at that, stuff up top, stuff down below. Star Trek as well. That's just too much stuff to take in here. Even Spawn. I remember when Spawn was really popular. Yeah, that Aladdin too. And then on the more WWF figures over here too. Look at this. Man, could you imagine? There's you know loose and uh, you know and still uh, with the packaging and all that too. Good to see. Even some throwback stuff. WCW figures included too. That's right. Got the He-Man esque style. Um, <laughs> it's funny they're all kind of in the same size case. A great colleague got a squish in there. Not just dudes toys. Also got Barbies that you can find here. And right around this time, Steve, Mr. Rightway, found something kind of fun. I want to see a contract in here for a, a title <laughs> shot. I can catch it at any time. Yeah. It's a car title shot, though. Job, so. I said. Uh, wow. There'd be a title in here. Yeah, it's, it's, a, title. it's a title in there, but yeah, it's the title to your car. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we definitely going to fight then. <laughs> oh, there we go, yeah. I, I don't doubt it. It's real. <laughs> so much. Oh, what a crystal find. Care Bears. Were you into Care Bears? Ah, that wasn't really my jam. It's right. okay. I do love Top Cat. But... Oh. Hey, babe. Remember these? Top Cat. How I got all these right here? The Pixel Browns. Oh, yeah. Those are good. Don't you have Shelly? I don't have Shelly. I use those as a nightlight. Here are some He-Man figures. Love me some Masters of the Universe. It's uh, one of the first toy lines I started with in the early 80s. One of my first favorites. <laughs> I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You can't deny the popularity here, too. So much fun. Yeah, a little in cap here with some Disney stuff, some clamshells. Pretty collectible. Got the old WCW Nitro set. Fun to see. It was just sitting there on the floor. <laughs> it's like, don't step on it. It's just sitting right in the middle of the floor. Look at these, all these little figurines back here, too. These are behind the uh, cash register. Oh, found a GoBot thing. I found a GoBot thing. This was the, um, where I was called. Man, um, although Transformers was like. You know, there's like there's Transformers and then GoBots were kind of like the yeah. great value brand Transformers. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I could afford GoBots, so I, I I had more GoBots than anything. And this was like the GoBots, like the, the big case for it. It's one of those things. I never had this when I was a kid. Always wanted one. Um, and then here it is, right in front of me. I could buy it right now. I yeah. could. I should. If I had more room in my carry on, I would. Well, I ended up not picking this up, but it's cool to see though. And then even X Men. I used to have some X Men figures. I did. I was never really much of a toy collector. I mean, outside of just playing with toys, but... Um, when, as you get older, you are. Yeah, well, I mean, when X-Men came out, um, I did like X-Men quite a bit, so... Name all those right now. Yeah. <laughs> can't you? I know I can't. Now, here's some more superhero stuff. We, uh, we see, we see Spider-Man. I know Steve was looking for Spider-Man earlier, so uh, we'll see if we can find one that he's looking for. And then down the uh, other aisles here, got some movie tie-ins, some horror stuff. Got Power Rangers, that's right. We saw some Power Rangers earlier. Here's a couple more Power Rangers over here. Some more movie tie-in ideas. And these, these are pretty cool. This one's over here. This is the Back to the Future. Um, you open it up, it's like the Sports Almanac version. There's Biff. And then the NES version of Batman. Here it is. <laughs> Got the NES color scheme with the pale blue skin and the, uh, the purple outfit. It's kind of fun to see. Sure, Terminator. What else are you looking for? There's Scream. I didn't even know they had Scream figures. Here's some DC stuff. Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of the anime section. Not a whole lot of anime stuff, but there's a few, a couple things on top too. Yeah, you know, you know. Here's more. Uh... Oh, there's a giant Spider-Man. Not really what Steve was looking for, but oh, hey, here we go. GI Joe. So much GI Joe out there too. It's hard to keep track of it all. It was around this time when I heard Crystal call for me. Oh my god, John. Oh, no, yeah. but dude, look at this. Found some etched glasses like and Smurfs, and even. Each and every one of them. Oh. They got the Smurfs. Oh, all the, the little figures. Yeah. And they're not even bad. Because... Oh, I would smell too 
You can grab one. Very cool. That's what kind of what she was looking Dude, for, right? I love this one. Look how cute. The one that's like lifting weights. Hefty Smurf. Yeah. Yeah, gotta love so Hefty Smurf, I guess. Cool. <laughs> and then even more in another case. I walked right by this. I don't. I didn't know why I didn't even see it. There's so much to see in this store. Like I said, it's just you got you gotta take it all in. And Toy Federation also hosts their own retro toy convention in the Greenville, South Carolina area. So make sure you look that up. Uh, you don't want to miss out um, for if you're a you know, toy collector. Happen to be in the area, definitely worth checking. If they, I mean, if, if the guys who have a store like this put on a convention, you know it's going to be fantastic. I'm trying to look down the, the back hallway there. I can't go down there, but see what I can see. I've never seen this robot around, too. A couple of handhelds, a couple more figures. This was on the glass case. Found some sticker books. Remember these sticker books? These are kind of fun. So we're just cycling through and... Uh, I'm glad Crystal did because we found this. So Go bots! You've turned it right to the right page. Oh my god, look! Okay, there you go. You gotta thank me because I found it. I oh, thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. So I couldn't find any GoBots, but I did find this coloring book, and I'm happy about it. And it was around this time as well that they called Jake Randall over because they found something that he was looking for. There you go. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not a Mega Man. Yeah, this is what I grew up with. Great condition too. And it's actually it's Mega Man. It's not like just a random character. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's a nice. I'm gonna probably buy it. You're gonna probably buy it. Well, the original. It's cheap. You know, it's just basic. It's not like. And then also oh, maybe have, you like, have some of the other parts to go with. No, oh. I just know I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Seen it. All right. well, I think we all we found always something we wanted. Like, I think this is a 1982. 82? Right. No, 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 no. It's a 1964. Dude, that's amazing. The first 30 years of the Flintstone. Wow. You found one. They had, they had a bunch, but you found the one. You, you found a Flintstones one. That's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm not drinking from this. <laughs> so we're all happy for what we found. We purchase our items, and as we're about to leave, that's when Crystal finds something that would be worth my while. Ah! Ha ha! What? Yeah. I was like, I gotta see this. <laughs> It looks cool. That's one I don't have. Quanto Cuesta! What? John, you gotta get it. I got it. Ten. John. I got it. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I'm, I'm getting this. Yeah. Even if I take the cereal out, and, uh, I'll find a way to make it fit, man. I might be just, I might be eating <laughs> this. This will be my in-flight snack. <laughs> How much is it? Ten bucks. Ten dollars only. To the cereal box collection I didn't have. I'm happy to find it. It's so right cool. Here, in Greenville, South Carolina. Okay. What a great store full of memories and nostalgia. Toy Federation, you can't go wrong. Definitely check it out if you happen to be in the area.